17 years old. I'm a member of the Boys and Girls Club at Elgin High School. Um, my first club experience began at Cook Elementary. I was around eight years old. And from the moment I entered the club, it became my second home. The staff members became like my family. I had always been a shy and timid young girl, and often more than not, I allowed my issues from home to affect my emotions. But the staff members always watched over me like a family. They helped me open up and you know, meet new kids as well as trying new things. Sadly, when middle school came around, I had to, I stopped attending the club because my mother and I had to move several times in an attempt to escape a toxic relationship. During that time, I began to isolate myself. I felt no sense of stability, and my life had become a consistent cycle of never having a solidified home. At the time, I didn't know how to deal with it, so I decided to keep it to myself, and it, it tore my mother apart to know that there was nothing she could do to help me. Beginning of sophomore year, my feelings didn't change. Um, they pushed me so far to the point where I attempted to take my own life. I never brought it to my mother's attention because I could never bring myself to tell the woman that brought me into this world that I no longer wanted to be a part of it. But as I lied there in that hospital bed and I realized I was alive for a reason, that I have a future to look forward to and I have people who care about me. And after the incident, my mother suggested I attend the club again. And at the time I told her that I was uninterested and that I felt that some after school program wasn't gonna change a thing. I was so unaware of the impact it would see make on my life as it did when I was eight years old. And the moment I walked into the club where I was in high school, the staff members seemed genuine. They weren't there just to get paid for their job, they were there to actually care for you. They would ask me how I was doing, and of course I attempted to slide into the radar and tell them that I was fine and that I was okay. But they never accepted that response. They began to invite me to sit down with them to talk to them about how life was going. They allowed me to work on my own as well as always listen when I had something to say. And if it wasn't for the staff members truly wanting to be a part of my life and get to know me and help me, I cannot guarantee I'd be here standing in front of all of you right now. I wouldn't be doing the things I am today, which is having this opportunity, attending my local ACC on top of my high school classes, maintaining my 3.4 GPA, being a member of my dance team, and applying for my next college. To be quite honest, I'm not sure I'd be alive. And although their life is still going to maintain all these challenges and I'm still going to through tough times, I know that getting through it is a huge part of my new development. I currently still attend the Boys and Girls Club currently as my senior year. And the relationships I've built with the staff members is something completely replaceable. And I'm lucky enough to have a family like the Boys and Girls Club to support me. Thank you.